What's going on everybody? This is Nick from House of Paint 203 bringing you part two of the Tarask series. In part one we fully base coated this absolute beast and in this part we are going to be starting off with a wash and then we're going to be applying some mid-tones so a lot more things to do. But before we get started just a friendly reminder to smite like and slam subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all the latest content that I am putting out there in my quest to paint the manual. Let's go. All right, so on the Tarrasque here, I am taking some sepia wash and I have diluted it with a little drop of water, even though it's already diluted. And really what I wanna try to capture is the really what I want to try to capture is the spacing between the scales. Um, so I've applied it a little heavier in those areas right there, as you can see. The same thing on his tail. This is not going to be an all over base, uh, I'm sorry, an all over wash. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna be using this on the, on the flesh. Not so much his, um, his plate. But I am gonna use it on his, uh, on his belly as well. That's that's a pretty good um, wash. Looks evenly distributed there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn him around. Alright, so now the hard part is going to be waiting for it to dry. So I'm going to be going in here on each individual scale with some of this heavy brown. Now heavy brown was my original base coat. 
and I've mixed heavy brown with a little sepia wash. So that the transition is not in your face. And I'm doing each individual scale because I've already tried a dry brush and a dry brush um, just isn't that effective on this figure um, in particular. And the reason why is because the scales are relatively flush to the body, um, which means that there are not as many raised areas on the scaly portion of him at least. All right, so there is um, a mid-tone <clears throat> on the Tarrasque. And you, know, you can see coming in that the, uh, the shade is a little bit darker, um, but the, the uh, discrepancy between a lot of the scales is a little bit more, um, is a little bit more prominent, which is, which is definitely yeah, <clears throat> what I what I was looking for. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the of the miniature. And one thing I just wanted to point out, I, I stopped right about here because 
with his tail curving like that, I figured this part of the tail would be in, um, in a fair amount of shadow. So I'm gonna flip this guy around. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. All right, so we have that, um, that coat on the scales. Highlight right there. Um, you know, I tried to get it as close as possible. I may hit it with a little bit of a dry brush as well. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in on the plate up here and I'm actually, I am gonna dry brush this and I'm gonna dry brush this with a little bit of heavy brown. All right, so here is the initial dry brush with the heavy brown, subtle enough, which, um, which I like. Certainly working to bring out some of that detail on the, um, on the plate. So very emphatic plate on the, the terrasque here. So, um, next thing that I would like to do is I would like to really go in on the, 
uh, the tail here um, with the sepia wash, um, and then eventually bring that up to um, eventually bring that up to uh, a mid tone as well. So I'm going to go in there with a sepia wash. Last step of part two for me, at least, is I'm gonna be uh, hitting the teeth here with a little Atyad Brown. All right, I think that is where I will stop for part two. In part three, we're gonna bring him up with some max highlights and then follow that up with uh, working on the base. As you can see, the base is right here. It's a pretty significant, significantly sized base. And this is how the model actually came before I primed it um, in black. So when we start the next uh, the next segment, this will be primed in black, and we will be finishing up uh, this base, which in and of itself is most likely going to be a feat. Um, definitely one of the biggest bases I've worked on, as well as one of the um, most detailed bases that, um, that I've worked on. So excited to get in on that but as always i thank you for joining me information on how to follow me on all my social media platforms is immediately following the video as is information on how to follow dominic marriott of credit uk and mike donnarumo of mvd studios thank you for watching and i'll see you for the next one